everyone, I'm Alana, and today I wanted to talk about why, even if you aren't a comic book fan, you should think about checking out the Injustice 2 comic. Comic books, especially Marvel and DC, can be really hard to get into. It can be really convoluted, it's hard to find a starting point, it's hard to find a story that you can relate to. This character died and came back to life, and this is this person's brother, and it's just a giant mess sometimes. Injustice basically cuts all of that out by containing the comic book stories in the Injustice universe. And the first Injustice Gods Among Us comic was really good! It acted as a prequel for Injustice 1 and spanned the five years leading up to that game. And a lot of that was written by Tom Taylor, who's actually returned to write the Injustice 2 comic series. The artist Bruno Redondo is returning too with his really bold, emotive art style. So if you're interested in playing Injustice 2, the comic actually bridges the gap between the first game and the second one. So the really short synopsis of the story is that Superman is in prison and Batman is the one who has to put the world together, but because of Superman's iron-fisted regime that everyone in that world is used to, there's a whole lot of conflict before they actually manage to get to the right place. Which I assume happens, I don't even know yet. That's why I want to keep reading. And unfortunately, Batman doesn't actually have a whole lot of allies at this point to make that happen. The thing that I like about it is that it's very intricate. And there are a lot of questions after the first game that need to be answered, like how the hell does everyone just rebuild after the world is being run by crazy Superman? So that's what the comic really tells the story of. The role that different heroes like Batman play in piecing together this dark, alternate reality DC universe. I will admit that I am a giant Batman fan. I have a Batman tattoo. But removing all of that bias, I still really like the focus that the Injustice 2 comic has on the struggle with Batman specifically. What we first knew of Batman was that he was kind of an underdog hero, and it was really easy for him to have this set in stone, moral high ground where he wanted to correct everything that was going wrong in the universe. In the Injustice 2 comic, he finds himself in a position of power that's kind of foreign to him. And that in itself is a moral struggle. When you have all this power and you aren't used to having it and Superman doesn't have it anymore, what do you do? What do you do with all the pressure that's put on you? Of course, I'm intentionally trying to be vague to uh, avoid any spoilers for you guys, but it should also be mentioned that Taylor is just a very, very good writer. There are really gritty, brutal moments that are interspersed between fun and funny parts, so it's not like anything ever drags on too long. And the tone does kind of shift and evolve depending on which character you're seeing the most of. So the one complaint that I would probably have about the Injustice 2 comic so far is that it doesn't quite tell us really clearly what the main conflict is going to be and give us an idea of where exactly the comic is headed. But that's the only complaint and it's a fairly minor one. Comic book and movie and book adaptations of video games have sometimes been really poor. There have been some great ones as well, I really love the Gears of War and the Halo books, but I really think that the Injustice comic book series is pretty high up there in terms of grabbing the essence of what a game is about and making it better, in that if you read the comics and play the game, you'll have more appreciation for what you're seeing in the game, but at the same time, you absolutely don't need to have read the comics to understand the game. It's a perfect partnership, and I don't really know how they managed to pull it off. <laughs> so the Injustice comic is out right now, pretty much everywhere comic books are sold, including places online like Amazon, and I definitely recommend you check it out. For more videos like this one on everything we love and don't love quite so much here at IGN, don't forget to subscribe wherever you're watching. I'll see you guys next time.